So I never got a chance to show you guys the office. The last thing that you guys seen was my little desk and I was telling you about the stuff that I wanted to buy. But let me show you guys some changes to my space since then, right? Well, you guys don't have this beautiful window, which is like the main centerpiece of my whole office. Let me show you guys what I got, how much it was. Okay, well first let's start with the rug. I finally did get the rug that I was telling you guys that I wanted. Looking back at it, I wish I would have got a bigger rug. And my boyfriend literally told me that I should have, but I was like, no, it's fine. But now I'm wishing that I got a bigger one. Next up is this desk, guys. This is like a really thin, sleek, modern, white desk i don't know where it's from so this is one of the items that i did thrift and i actually got it for free so <laughs> that was a really big win because that other desk took up too much space so my boyfriend works sometimes from here which is why we have the other chair but lately i've been using his computer and also my computer at the same time so that's kind of why it's set up right now because i'll be like doing something on his and then something on mine i got these little container things and when i seen these i knew this would have been the perfect thing to put in my room to like kind of like for storage for like my books and stuff i was telling you guys that i was going to get like an organizer but then when i seen these i already knew these would have been perfect for my office so i negotiated 20 dollars for both of them but here's where he messed up right so each one is worth 180 dollars so when I heard that, I was like, ooh, I definitely need to get these because they're just so nice. And I've never seen this style before. And it has like a little hole at the bottom and then you pull it up, push it in, and then you have access to your stuff. So I feel like right now I'm really not getting like my ultimate use out of them because this one was holding electronics, but then I used my, my electronics so much, it's kind of empty now so i'm reconsidering actually maybe taking these out putting them on the side this desk came at the perfect time and these little container thing came at the perfect time and i like that i could like really switch it around if i want to like i'm starting to think maybe i can take them out and put them on the end kind of like where that is and then put the board on the desk um i just like how flexible i can be with this space and it's pretty cool all right, so I stopped at Target yesterday and I got some goodies for my shower. Showers are so sacred for me, so I had to make sure I have all of these things. Some of them just make me feel extra bougie, but I love that. This Eco Tools. So basically, I wanted something a little bit more tougher than the sponge I have now. So this is my old sponge, and you guys know these sponges. I've had it for a really long time, and it just, I don't know, I don't like that it doesn't soap up, and I feel like it's holding a lot of bacteria. So, so okay, here's what I love about it, right? So it's a loofah on this side, but it's not a loofah like a regular loofah, so the chances of it falling apart probably won't happen. It has this handle like this so you could twist it and then now you have a scrubbing side and it feels so good i think this is gonna make my skin feel so good because i wanted to get a new tree hut scrub i use these in combination with my own scrubs next is a new body wash i was using native before i had like four natives and then i had like two of these before i, I really like the um the raw mango scent it's really good it's like an orange one this one is watermelon and fresh mint and i'm super excited it smells so good and i forgot how much these are but these last me a pretty long time and last but not least i have my eos 24 hour moisture shave cream so i started getting these like maybe like two self-care trips ago like two shoppings ago maybe two months ago at target and i don't know like when i shave i normally would just use soap but i definitely feel like this gives you a cleaner shave it makes my skin feel very smooth and um it smells really good and this makes me feel extra bougie so it's not needed but i need it because it's just a part of my whole routine hot sensitive foaming wash 
and this is like my in the shower routine because i have a whole other body routine for when i come out the shower but maybe i'll make that a whole video one day and i've actually been using the one with the updated formula and i don't really don't see much of a difference um i just think i told you guys this before i would rather stick to a brand that i know that's updated rather than just try a whole new brand and it's been working for me just like the other one was so i'm probably gonna just stick with this one going on pretty much within the time that I wasn't posting so I'm just gonna update you guys um one you guys know we're staying in our place I'm no longer you know looking for an apartment I'm working on another company that I should be set to like launch in hopefully May next year so I've started on that um that one is my graphics business if you guys don't know i do graphics i used to do intros and stuff but right now i'm focusing on flyers and i do like acuity sites and i'm soon gonna add like website and stuff like that but i really am going to just limit the amount of people that i take per week so i'm still working on building my, per my portfolio so that has been taking time too and let me know what you guys thought about my last youtube video I don't get paid for that video because I have music in it, but like I feel like it was a good vibey video and my ideal videos will be mixes of like me and you talking like like just like this and then mixes of like pieces of that video. So that's pretty much my whole goal for my YouTube videos right now is to just keep it creative, um, always add new stuff, you know, it doesn't need to look the same every video. So I really love that. So. I guess that's pretty much all I did have to update you guys on. Yeah, I've really just been working on my routines and my habits and all that. And I'm still fixing and I'm still working and I'm still, you know, trying to better them. But that's pretty much what I've been doing for the past, like, month that I wasn't posting. But now that I'm in a flow, um, you know, that's great. I'm able to incorporate YouTube back into it. I woke up at 6.30 today because I just want to see how much work I can normally get done if I just wake up early. I normally wake up at like at around 8, 9, um, 10 if I overslept, which is okay. And it's like I'm trying to figure out what time in the morning works best for me. So yesterday I woke up at 7. Today I woke up at 6.30 and I cleaned for a half an hour and then I did my routine for an hour and now I'm about to start work at 8 o'clock. And I think that would be really good because I could get a lot of stuff done between 8 o'clock and 12 to where I might only need to be working from 8 to 12 a day or like 8 to 1. Because sometimes when I wake up late at around like 9, I don't end up finishing up with like whatever I'm doing for work until like 5 or 6. So. <laughs> Okay, I'm here to give you guys an update. So here's how it works, like I was telling y'all. So I got my little iPad with my headphones, right? You know, mouse. I don't really care for this mouse. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have got done. So let's go to the first thing. So the first thing I was able to do was to bust out this new flyer for any of my clients that have a hair business and they're trying to pretty much show off you know there that they have appointments available that they're trying to get bookings let's hold on let me make the bottom go down i hope you guys can see okay there we go so i made this flyer from scratch i've been getting so good with like the transitions and the fading and everything a lot of it has been practiced this is my first time doing these and well this type of flyer specifically and i just feel like i'm killing it like my flyers are only 35 dollars right now because listen as soon as i get a little more nice with it the price is going up okay this is going to be easily $50 but right now it's 35 so if you want a flyer book your flyer now I also took a, a video of it like for reels and I've also been posting a reel every time I post a new flyer like, then I made the post to go onto the marketing page because I make one post and one reel for each design so I just edited it you know put it on 
hair flyer design all that stuff so all i have to do is actually just post it my reel is actually ready to post i literally just need to click post so i did that which was amazing and the last thing i did for my marketing was i made this is going to be the cover photo for the reels and i change it every time i you know post a new reel i just change the words and change the picture and this is what people will see on my page instead of like just a messy page you know i'm trying to make my page look very professional very put together to the roof so that we can talk I just woke up feeling unsettled my period is also coming and i don't know why but as i get older all of my periods and symptoms get more and more persistent you know like before i would just you know bleed like normal but now i have horrible cramps well i've always had horrible cramps but it seems like they keep getting worse um i never used to blow now i blow I'm so tired of tea like I've been drinking tea for like for months like you guys should see I get like the Costco Lipton tea and I drink it myself and I've just been drinking tea for so long but I tried coffee again the other day and I really did not like it like it was not good so I want like a different morning cup of something I want it to be warm though so leave me any suggestions if you drink like a certain type of tea a certain flavor a certain flavor maybe of coffee I don't know I need something different though because I'm so tired of the taste of tea I haven't journaled in a while so a lot of my feelings kind of are piling up in my head so so yeah like I was saying I started bloating now and I never used to bloat um what else happens I noticed I have like way more harsh mood swings like it's so crazy like it, it's really like so night and day because it's like i'm watching myself from like like kind of like an outer body experience like i'm experiencing it but i'm watching like i'm i'm going through the motions as if i'm watching myself from like somebody else's perspective and it's just like i literally can tell when i'm getting tempted to do something or like just to have an attitude or something and it comes around the same time every month and I just it's just so it feels so uncontrollable like nobody really taught us about how to care for like your mental for your body for your mental health during your period and I used to always wonder why I would always feel so off during my period like I knew I was bleeding because I was always used to just bleeding but as I grow and get older I'm just having so many more symptoms and I just couldn't really cope with it okay Kylie say hi Look how big she got. Like I'm just basically trying to create routines that make me feel good during this time. I go to the doctor or something to try, but I don't want nothing like unnatural. I know there are plenty of herbal um, ways I can, you know, work on that. And I actually do have some stuff that I've been meaning, meaning to make that my grandmother gave me. She's very holistic. She gave me like holistic seasonings i don't know but what else i can say is that i have been eating meat again like a lot of red meat and i took a break for a couple of months almost i want to say half the year um this year when you pull her toy and pat her head she starts to cry out i don't know if it's the red meat but i really just don't like this and it's already enough that i have to go through like super painful cramps but having to deal with like mood swings bloating my my feelings being like literally all over the place like every month i cry not even really really for anything but i say all that to say i'm probably going to just 
relax today. I've been working so hard like the past couple of weeks. I've been so consistent with my routines. Um, but I feel like it's important to give myself days like today where I can allow myself to just relax. So I don't really have anything I need to do outside. We, we got some groceries yesterday and like sweets and stuff because I was, you know, I prepared for this. I might, I think I want to get a few more snacks. I don't eat ice cream anymore because it breaks me out and I really can't eat dairy. That's been, my, that's another thing. Dairy had just become more and more like, I can't eat it. Like that's going to be hard trying to find new meals that go with my diet, I guess. But I might do some research to see why my my period symptoms are just going crazy. Like I might have to start eating like a new recipe. I told my boyfriend that I might try like vegan cheese because I cannot eat regular cheese. Like it's it, it, it's definitely a problem.